All right, so overall we finished three and two. Not super impressive. However, the the matches that we played against non-ramp decks seemed pretty easy. Uh, we didn't play against like uh, you know things that I would consider tier one, but these are definitely decks that you play against in standard a fairly large percentage of the time. And uh, this deck just kind of like out mid ranges all the mid range decks. Uh, like I was saying in the last match, it is a little bit leaner, which is nice. Uh, you have removal spell, you have like these very sticky threats that people have a lot of hard time dealing with, and yeah, I kind of like where this deck is at. Just needs a better ramp matchup plan, and that's about it. Uh, but ramp is just always going to naturally prey on these decks, so I have the main deck transgresses to try and help, but obviously it's not enough. So. Uh, I don't know, uh, something a little bit earlier that's a little more aggressive might help. Uh, one thing that might help is Hangerback Walker, because it gives you a little insurance against Ugin and even Chandra. Uh, I think that would be a pretty nice add. Seeker did look really good though, but I'm not sure if it would have been better or worse than Hangerback. Uh, I will say that like turns 3, 4, and 5, you're generally using your mana every turn. Obviously you can... Kind of switch that around a little bit and use your mana in a different way to level up your Hangerback Walker. And obviously Hangerback Walker is a fine draw late. So uh, with the, the Eilis in the deck, I think Hangerback is a pretty nice addition. Uh, it's possible I could do something like play three Eilis, three Hangerback. And then it's like you basically just always have that combo online, which would be pretty tight. And then maybe move the... I guess if I'm, if I'm playing Hangerback, then I'm trying to have... Uh, still a pretty solid game against ramp, so the transgressors could stay. But you could also just concede the ramp matchup and try and beat everything else. Uh, a little disappointed I didn't get to play against any Collected Company decks, but that, that'll probably just happen this weekend, I'm sure. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said in the deck tech, I think I will probably just play a Collected Company deck this weekend because I've just never, never played one before. And it seems kind of silly to me, so I should probably just make that happen. But uh, if I chicken out or something you know this is certainly a very solid option and I have a lot of fun playing this deck I like this deck a lot and I hope you I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next week